But you got to make the decision every day. Am I going to be happy with this woman or am I going to be right? Because when you argue with a woman, you are not going to win. Because they are absolutely brilliant. They remember everything. They will bring up what you did six years ago on the exact same day. Your ass done forgot about it because you thought it was over. No, they keep a file cabinet full of that in their head. Oh, it might be over, but if we need to go back through the files and bring it up, bing, they'll just bring it up. And he's absolutely right. This is why I tell you guys, you have to learn to ignore a woman and watch what you're doing because she's going to hold on to it. In a lot of cases, if a lot of you guys have did something wrong, the best thing for you to do is to just end the relationship and not go back into the relationship. And the reason why I say that is because at some point of the relationship, a woman is going to bring up that situation to be mad for that moment. That's what a lot of guys in relationships face. You face the fact that whenever she gets bored or whenever she wants her way, she's going to throw back in your face what you did wrong because she doesn't forget anything. She's going to leverage all of these events. Why? Because they love the drama. They love the attention. Women love to spar, psychologically spar. What do I mean? They love to create an event that's going to cause you to be more aggressive. That's going to cause you to be angry. That's going to cause you to want to debate with her. Because she loves the emotion that comes from it. She loves the rush. But at the same time, it turns her on. So I frequently get the comment, you're so pretty. Why are you single? Pretty in relationships don't correlate. If I try to invest in a relationship with every single person in my DM, it would be a whole bunch of waste of time. Because guess what? Most people in my DMs don't actually want a relationship. They're just commenting on the way I look, which, okay, that's fine. But it's just like, I'm trying to tell you guys. It don't correlate into relationships, okay? It don't. Nigga, what? And I'll be trying to get a lot of you guys to understand that. That when you walk outside of your house and you walk outside of your home and you walk around in your neighborhood, one thing that you're going to notice about families and couples and people that are together is that they all are ugly. They're not the most beautiful people in the world at all. The families that last long and been together um, for a very long time are not supermodels. They're not the richest people in the world. They're not everything that you think you need to be in order to be happy. From my experiences, a lot of beautiful women, uh, the juice is just not worth the squeeze. It's only worth the squeeze on a man who has no identity. The weak man, the man who don't know who he is, but he may have found a way to make money. You have a lot of guys out there with no personality, no drive, no swag, no nothing, but they're really smart. So they know how to make the money. And these are the type of guys that's going to eventually end up with the pretty woman because they are going to pay for them. But for the most part, just because a woman is pretty and guys want to uh, want to be with her. What you have to understand is that pretty girl gets approached so much that she's fully aware of what you want to do. Okay, so I've seen a lot of videos on my For You page going around talking about pretty girls and just like things in general that pretty girls experience. One topic I've seen pretty often is pretty girls not being approached or not getting asked out on dates by guys, which honestly, I feel like this is one of the truest things and literally nobody talks about it. A lot of pretty girls will be like, okay, I see that like other girls compliment me and I see that like I personally think I'm pretty, so why aren't I getting approached by guys? Very pretty girls have a type of beauty that is admired, not approached. Let me say that again. If you're very, very beautiful, you most likely have a beauty that's admired from afar, but not approached because guys are intimidated to be rejected by a pretty girl. They feel like they're already out of your league, so why even try type of thing? And if you actually think about like the pretty girls in like TV and movies, they're literally never approached in the movies, maybe once by like that one bold kid, which also happens in real life. Everybody on the outside knows they attract a lot of guys, but they're never asked out. I agree with her. A lot of guys can be intimidated by a pretty woman, especially if she looks like a pretty woman who is not for the streets. She seems harder to get with. She seems harder to get into bed, which is why a lot of guys are just naturally attracted to the sleazy and easy woman because it seems like it does not require much to get her in the sheets. But when it comes to a natural pretty woman, a lot of guys have a hard time approaching these women because they know with just the demeanor that they have, a lot more comes with it. You know, you have to have a better conversation. You 
may have to have a little bit more money to do things. Well, you really don't know her because she could be going through emotional issues. But for what a man's instinct thinks about a pretty woman, it's pretty accurate. Most girls who are pretty and do get attention from guys will typically always be practicing hypergamy. That means even if the weasel gets her, at some point of the relationship, she's going to disrespect him by flirting with another guy that she really wants to be with. See, pretty girls know what type of guy they want, but being that they don't get enough guys to approach them, they eventually start to feel low, and then you'll start to see the ugly guy with the pretty girl, and how did he get her? How did he get her? He got her because he's on borrowed time. He is in her life to give her back the confidence to leave him. That's what's going to happen most of the time. You're not going to see too many pretty women that get deteriorated by a broken man. Time women don't realize. Once you place yourself in a position to not be helpless, a man is not going to want to help you out. Hopefully you guys got the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.